We're on this blood trail and it is unreal. Check out, I don't know if you can see it. I have white fletchings. They are not white. That serious Gemini is covered in blood. That might, this might be the biggest buck of my life. On the board. Boom. I don't have arms. That's a really big deer. Look at this deer. Freaking stud. This is without a doubt the biggest deer of my life. <laughs> oh my gosh. property down below my house here. I'm on doe patrol this evening so had a slow morning saw a couple bucks three different bucks just none of our uh, none of our shooter shooters and I really just want to take out some of these does I got a couple does got a lot of does on this property I just uh, I need to get a couple of them out of here so we're gonna slide in the stand this evening. Let's see if we can make it happen. I've had the worst luck with the weather the past couple days. Man, it's starting to rain again now. I really thought these deer would be moving this evening because with no rain in the forecast, but. I guess it's raining now, so hopefully we don't get too wet walking to the blind. We will see.
and stuck in her. I hit her really good, so. Smoked, son. I hate they come all in together because I was really wanting to double up tonight, but I'm gonna knock another hair. If we don't cop it about 20 minutes left, 15, 20 minutes before dark, so I'm gonna knock another hair and uh, just sit tight. God, they took off running like crazy. I'm, I'd say she ran a little ways. They were pretty skittish coming in. You know, I had those other hunters down below me, and they had left and just a little bit ago. And so these does, they come in, they just come in. And I had three big mature ones in here, and I shot the biggest ones. And that's awesome. All right, guys, so we're right here at the uh, impact of the shot. There's blood everywhere. I just want to show you right here. Blood right here at the shot. That's where I smacked that feeder leg. Right there. We got good blood right through that mud right here kind of leading away from us so we're going to uh, get on this blood trail and see what we find at the end of it right, guys I apologize for the lighting here I'm doing this solo and it's raining we're on this blood trail and it is unreal check out I don't know if you can see it I have white fletchings they are not white that serious Gemini is covered in blood. Literally the whole shaft is red. One of the best, the best blood trail I've been on all year. Broad head, tough head wide, 200 grain, still razor sharp. Even though it hit that, <laughs> hit my feeder pole. That's awesome. It's starting to pick up the rain. Surely she can't be too much farther from where this area is. So I'm gonna uh, get off here and try to see if I can get my hands on her. Well guys, here she is. I wish I could have filmed a little bit more uh, mother recovery, but she, she ran a long ways. I'm not really sure what happened. The shot as you can see right here was a little bit high. She kind of ducked the string just a little bit. They were kind of on edge when they came in. Um, but long story short, she ran probably 200 yards or so straight down the mountain. Um, heck of a blood trail. I mean, I can't, I can't say enough about the Gemini from Sirius, from Sirius and uh, the tough head broadheads. I mean, that Evolution 200 wide, I mean, it did a number on her. I mean, I got a complete pass through, hit the leg of my feeder. And um, I mean, the blood trail was unreal. Um, not really sure what I hit. I think I hit an artery and one lung. I think that's why she went so far, but um, nonetheless, I'm happy. Meat in the freezer, another tag punched here in West Virginia. You know, it was kind of a slow evening, slow day. I was hoping to get more than one, one in the freezer tonight, but uh, I'll take it. So nothing like taking a big mature doe out of the herd and uh, doing our part. So thanks for watching, guys.